Health Spotlight, presented by Community Health Network. And in your health spotlight tonight, something called brain on fire disease. It's rare and often mishandled, but as News 8's Lena Pringle reports, one woman is a living example of a medical breakthrough. Imagine being totally fine one day, then the next you're having hallucinations, seizures, memory loss, and even trouble talking. It's called brain on fire disease. Now here's a look at the journey of one young woman who experienced this rare and mysterious illness. Hunting, mountain biking, horseback riding, you name it. Katie Miller would do it until she couldn't. I just didn't feel like myself, like normal. Katie said, uh, Mom, I feel like my brain snapped. A local doctor admitted Katie into a psychiatric ward. But what was happening to her wasn't mental. It was physical. What happens is you're perfectly normal one day, and uh, suddenly overnight, um, this person can become paranoid can start having visual hallucinations, auditory hallucinations. Anti-NMDA receptor encephalitis, also known as brain on fire disease. It's misdiagnosed as a psychiatric disorder in up to 40% of patients. So for many of the females, especially after puberty, they can develop what's called an ovarian dermoid cysts or an ovarian teratoma. These cysts often have hair and teeth in them. The immune system sees it as foreign and attacks it. But in these cysts, there is a component of tissue that really is brain tissue. Within four days, Katie was catatonic and needed a ventilator to breathe. There is no single approved treatment. That's why a five-year nationwide clinical trial is testing whether a drug called inibilizumab will stop the assault on the brain. Katie had her cyst removed. She can't remember three months of her life, but now with various medications, Katie is on her way to recovery. Up to 50% of patients can suffer long-term consequences, especially cognitive and mood symptoms. Recovery is also often slow over months to years, and patients require prolonged hospital stays. The extinguished trial is enrolling in at least 26 sites all across the United States, Barcelona, and the Netherlands. If you think you've heard of this disease before, it may be because of the book Brain on Fire, which was written by a journalist who had NMDA receptor encephalitis. It was then made into a movie in 2016. I'm Lena Pringle, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.